Hey everybody, Freddy here with another video with a continuation of the ransomware series. This time we're going to be focusing on cloud storage, specifically Dropbox. Is Dropbox infected if I am ever infected with ransomware? In this video, we're going to go through a live demo that is going to show you how Dropbox is infected with ransomware. And we're going to go through the recovery process as well. So you can, if you ever have to deal with this, you are prepared. The, the idea of these videos is to prepare you just in case you ever have to go through that process. So stay tuned. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Freddie Dubon and in this channel, I provide technology tips and tricks for you and your business that will save you many hours of research. Thanks for being here. Okay, back in the lab. This time, we're going to infect this computer using a ransomware called Prometheus. Uh, this one is going to be a little bit different. If you watch the other video, the infection took place in about three minutes. Prometheus is a little bit different. Prometheus is going to do it in 45 seconds. So let's go through this process of infection. I'm just going to go through it very quickly and show you how it's infected. Then I'm going to go into showing you the results and then I'm going to show you how when I restore from backup how everything comes back but then something happens and you'll get to see that let's jump in okay so what are we looking at here as you can see there's a SQL database on the very top of the task manager that is the actual virus running it changed the name from Prometheus that I gave it and in this case, it's showing as a SQL database. If, if you remember from my previous video, it tries to hide itself from, uh, from you being able to see it. So as you can see, it says SQL database is going through it and it's encrypting everything. We don't see anything yet, but so let's give it a couple minutes. Oh, everything just changed. If you notice, all the extensions are different and there is a message there's also your company network has been hacked message on the bottom right hand corner wow that was quick 45 seconds incredible here is the message that pops up if you haven't watched the other video on the windows 10 recovery please do so and you can see the message that came out of that one that one was the qscx uh, ransomware. This one is a little different. It's called Prometheus. And if you notice, there's a big message. And on the bottom, it says you have two ways to recover. You can either use a, a Tor browser or you can go directly from a web from a web browser. The unfortunate thing is here that even if you try to go to this web web page, um, it actually doesn't work. So at this point, if unfortunately, if somebody gets infected with this virus. There's no way for them to even pay the ransom because there is no, no link. There is no way to get to this link. I don't know, there might be another way to contact the hackers. I'm not sure, but at this point, we can say that this is um, completely gone, this data. Let's check Dropbox to see what's going on. Hmm. Some of the files are encrypted. Some of the files are not encrypted. Kind of interesting. Um, if you go into the Dropbox, in the in the root folder the root folder all of the files are encrypted but if you go into the subfolders like Halloween for example some of the files are encrypted and some of them are not um, not sure what happened there but uh, bottom line is files are encrypted in Dropbox 45 seconds the infection took 45 seconds if you watch the other video the Windows 10 recovery video that one took three minutes for the infection to take place this one was a little bit different I used a different ransomware so you can see the difference not all ransomware is the same so don't feel that because you know one you know them all that's not the case unfortunately so the best thing to do is prepare just in case you ever need to deal with this so 45 seconds is how long this Prometheus took. Now we're going to go through the process of recovering the data. So at this point, as we saw the last time with the other virus, the, the, 
the thing to do is we're going to have to restore from the image that we created. So again, that's the first step. The, the image is going to get you back to square one uh, where you're going to get all your data back. It might not be the most current data because remember that image was created at, at some point. But what you can do is you can restore the image and that's going to get you back to a certain level. And then after that, you can restore different versions from Dropbox in this example. So let's go ahead and do the image restore. For a slow version of this process, please check out the video in the suggestion box above. We are back from the reboot. After the restore, let's go back into our files. And let's go to documents and all of our files are back. Everything is good. Let's check out Dropbox. It restored all the files back into Dropbox. Let's look at Halloween. So the restore restored all the files into Dropbox as well. And So that'll get us to a certain level. If the if the versions are not what you're looking for, let's say I need the I, I open this document and I notice that it's an older version of this document, what I can always do is I can right click on this document. And let me connect to the Wi-Fi. That's pretty interesting. My Dropbox was fine. But then after a few minutes, all my files started changing and getting infected. Why? Well, if you remember, Dropbox synchronizes with the cloud all the time. So what happened was during the infection, your files got infected and they got synchronized to the cloud. When you did the restore, all your files were good but now they got synchronized with the cloud. The cloud thought this is the latest version. So everything came back and then it overrode your files. So now your files are encrypted. Mm. Not that great, but that's just how it works. Luckily, Dropbox creates different versions of the data. So you can go through the recovery process on dropbox.com and you can select the files that you want to recover. Remember, one of the keys that you need when you need to recover is different versions of your data. Remember when we created in the other video, we created different file history. We, I asked if you make sure that you do at least one month. It's exactly the same thing with Dropbox. Dropbox keeps different versions of the data so you can recover at different point in time. So this is how you're going to recover. Let's go through it. Find the file or folder you want to recover, right click and click on version history. Then there's this window will open. Here you have um, a document that was added at 12.27 p.m. I only have one version because at this point I loaded this Dropbox at around 12 noon. So I can always restore this version. I can say restore and I can restore that file. This one, it says that, I, that it was restored. This one says that it was added. So everything seems to be back. A Windows image restore will get you back to the way that it was right before the right before the uh, the infection. So the Windows image restore will get you to a certain point. Now, if you're dealing with uh, Dropbox, uh, you can go in and you can right click on a file or a folder and you can restore different versions of those files or those folders. What I would recommend is that you structure your Dropbox with folders so you can right click on folders 
and restore them, not file by file. So I hope you like this video. If you found it useful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. This helps me bring this type of videos to you. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you again for being here and see you in the next one.